Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarker Super Quick Book Preview Show. This episode, we're checking out The Labors of Hercules Beale by Gary D. Schmidt. Let's give it a preview and see if you want to read it. Starting off with our passage preview. So here's the first thing. My name is Hercules Beale. I know, it's a stupid name. It was an especially stupid name until this year when I got my Beale family growth spurt. Before that, I was the kid who always got put in the front of the class picture because otherwise, I disappear behind kids like Ty Malcolm, whose grandfather played defensive end in the NFL before he became a minister at the Second Baptist Church of New Bedford and passed all of his ginormous genes down to Ty. And I was the kid who was always cast as the cute little animal in every school play, like Stupid Toto in our third grade performance of The Stupid Wizard of Oz. You can't believe how long it took before Ty Malcolm stopped calling me Toto. So it's a stupid name. I get it, but I didn't choose it. So don't blame me. Blame my parents or don't. Really, it's not even your business. And that'll wrap up our passage preview. Now let's take a look at the back of the book blurb. But first, if you're enjoying this book preview, and if it's helping you figure out if you want to read this book or not, would you mind hitting like and subscribe? It'll help me get the right books in different kids' hands. Herc Beale knows who he's named after, a mythical hero. But he's no superhero. He's the smallest kid in his class. So when his homeroom teacher at his new middle school gives him the assignment of duplicating the mythical Hercules' amazing feats in real life, he's skeptical. After all, there are no Nemean lions on Cape Cod, and not a single Hydra in sight. Missing his parents terribly, and wishing his older brother wasn't working all the time, Herc figures out how to take his first steps along the road that the great Hercules himself once walked. Soon, new friends, human and animal, are helping him. And though his mystical role model performed his 12 labors by himself, Herc begins to see that he may not have to go it alone. All right, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of truth, is this book for you? If not, be sure to check out some of the other stuff we have on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel. You might want to read Alone or Talia's Codebook for Mathletes. Thank you so much for checking out this book with me. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I hope you find something that you want to read.